Hello everybody, welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I hope everyone's having a good day. It is, well, Thursday night for me, um, but uh, you're watching this and it's Friday for you. And uh, there's just so much going on. Even at night, I'm trying to make a recording and all I can hear is the dogs running, my husband yelling at the dogs, the kids yelling and fighting and screaming. I'm like, I can't do anything. I can't work during the day because of the construction and now I'm trying to do a video at night and there's like chaos going upstairs. So anywho, um, if you hear noises or dogs running around, I'm sorry, I can't help it. Like, unless I pour and do a video at like one o'clock in the morning, <laughs> it is what it is. So if you saw my last video, um, you saw I did a commission piece for a client of mine where she had asked for a gray background with black, white, silver, and a touch of blue. Well, what happens is when I start rambling and I start squeezing colors, <laughs> I'm not thinking. So I ended up putting a lot of blue and the um, canvas ended up with predominantly blue. So I showed my client and of course I said to her, you know, give me the, give me the truth. If you like it, great. If not, I'll make you a new one because it was my fault. Um, so that's what happens because I had a lot of people ask me, what happens if you do a commission piece and the client doesn't like it? Well, if I did it exactly as the client wanted and use the colors that they wanted exactly how they wanted, then we'll have to figure it out. But if I goofed and the client didn't like it, then absolutely I would do a new piece. So I showed her the piece and asked her, tell me what you think and be honest. And you know what? She loved it. So how can you not love blue? So I wanted to show you, it's still a little bit wet. I'm going to show you one of the three because I don't want to bring all three here because they're still a little bit wet. But um, you can see the shine because it's still a bit wet. But she loved, love, loved it. So for those of you who were freaking out and, you know, commenting on the video and saying, oh, that's too much blue, your client's not going to like it. Don't worry. She loved it, okay? So she's very happy with it. She's super excited with about it. And there it is. So, <laughs> so that is done, done, done. I'm very happy she was uh, happy about it. And once it dries, it's gonna get crystal resin and it'll be ready to go. Another thing I wanted to show you, I can't wait to work on this. This is for my husband. This is gonna go here in the man cave once everything's done and renovations are complete. Toronto Maple Leafs, we are diehard Leafs fans and yes, we are. And uh, we love it and I'm loving this and it's gonna look so cool when it's done. Um, I have a lot of people asking me um, in comments, on Instagram, on Facebook, can I do a video showing how I do the sports logos? No. I hate to say it, but it's a multi-step process. It is super time consuming. And quite frankly, I just don't have the time to sit and record five different steps, six different steps. It's just something right now I cannot do. Um, so I'm sorry, I cannot record um, a video process of this. It, it just is what it is. Um, for my sanity, um, I just can't do it. But if there's a piece uh, or a team or something or anything you want me to do and get done by my wood guy, you guys can email me, canalasiraco at gmail.com if you want um, a sports logo. I'm not doing any animals at the moment. Uh, I got to take a step back from those. I do love doing that though, um, because I just think the sports logos are super cool. Um, but if you want like a horse or a unicorn or like, you know, a zebra or seahorse or anything like that, I'm not doing those right now because I just, I really don't have the time. Um, and I'm going crazy with construction. My dad is now coming up um, every couple of days. He's working on a project here, working on a project there. Um, you know, we're moving the laundry room over so I, I you know I need to be there to help my dad if he needs something because my husband works and can't really help my dad so it's crazy chaotic during the day I have no time for anything absolutely nothing um so I'm putting a hold on the animal wood pieces so if you wanted a piece I'm sorry it's just gonna have to wait for three four five months I don't even know um what else did I want to tell you guys I wrote these things down <laughs> 
A lot of people asked me about this in my last video because I didn't talk about it, but I talked about it in the video before. Um, yes, I did get um, a new tattoo. No, you're not seeing things. You're not going crazy. It's not something you've missed in previous videos. Um, it is a new tattoo and if you want to hear more about it, check out two videos ago. And no, my mom has not seen it yet. <laughs> Okay, you know, they were up on the weekend. It was a very, very warm day. One of the warmest days of September. And we were working in the house and here I am in shorts, but I had long sleeve shirt on. And my mom's like, what's wrong with you? Aren't you hot? I'm like, no, I'm fine. She goes, but it's so hot outside. You want you go put on a t-shirt. I'm like, no, nah, mom, good. <laughs> I was dying, absolutely dying, okay? But I just, you know what? I wasn't in the mood for an argument. Okay, so I was just like, forget it, just leave it. Soon it's gonna be cold and it's gonna be long sleeve weather time all the time. And you probably wonder, well, isn't she watching this video? She doesn't watch my videos. And if she does, surprise! <laughs> so anyways, um, so yes, I did get a tattoo. Um, if you are watching and you're not sick of me babbling and you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. I would truly appreciate it if you hit that red subscription button and click that notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so you guys are watching this on Friday. Saturday is Sophia's birthday. My daughter, she's turning eight. So um, happy birthday to her. I wanted to say thank you to Linda who sent um, a PayPal um, donation in uh, for Sophia for her birthday. Thank you so much, Linda. Um, to Randy, Tracy, Carolyn, Shelly, Amy, Nadine, and Barbara. I had to write those down because no way I'm going to remember those. Thank you to all of you for your PayPal donations um, in the month of September. Um, if I missed anyone, I'm really sorry. Um, but thank you so, so, so much to everyone who has donated to my PayPal link. It helps me buy the supplies and try all these cool, fun stuff for you guys to watch. So thank you so much for that. Um, and I think that's all I have to say right now. So I'm going to bring you guys down on the uh, canvas and we're going to do something fun today. I'm going to push my button and give it five seconds because I know it always takes five seconds to kick in. Um, so I'm going to get the canvas ready and we're going to get started. Be right back. All right, guys, I am back and I am ready to go. Air bubble. Actually, I should use the torch. Um, so what I've got here today is a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And um, I really, really love the gray base in my last pour. And uh, I wanted to do it again. And this time I wanted to add, I would have liked to add the Titan Mars Pale, actually that I have from Golden, but I'm running very, very low on it. And um, I need to save what I have left because I have to do a commission piece for a client using this color. And uh, I don't, know where I can get my hands on another bottle like this. So um, this was given to me by um, a viewer of mine in the US. Um, and apparently it's like a sample bottle or something like that from Golden. So um, if anyone out there watching um, knows anything about this bottle, these kinds of bottles or where I can get a bottle like this um, in the Titan Mars Pale um, color, please um, email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com um, or message me on Facebook or Instagram and um, let's chat because um, I would like to um, get some of this if you have it in the US and you can help me get some of that. I'll pay you for the shipping and blah, 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 all that stuff. So if you can help me find that Titan Mars Pale, I would be uh, greatly happy about that. So in the meantime, what I decided to do is actually use a color I've never actually used before. Um, and I had this kicking around because I have a, every color of everything just in case and look just in case it seems to be that I need it. So light portrait pink by Liquitex Basics. That is what this color here is and I've put it here in my Loli Veffy squeeze bottle, added my nice um, uh, labels, gosh I can't even think, added my nice label there and uh, my Loli Veffy squeeze bottles. If you wanna know the ratios of how I mix my paints for my Dutch pours, check out video number 63. I will link it up at the top. Click on that and you'll see my full tutorial video on how I mix my paints for Dutch pours. Um, these squeeze bottles, a lot of people ask me how long does the paint last in them? Forever and ever and ever. <laughs> I probably had paint in some of these bottles for almost a year and they're perfectly fine. 
as long as they are airtight and the cap is closed, you're good to go. So if you want to purchase these bottles, a lot of people are really loving these bottles. You can buy them off lowlyveffy.com or, you know, the silicone mats and everything else that um, Adriana sells on her website. And you can save 10% using code CANELA10. All right, so we've got gray and the pink. The gray is a mixture of um, white and black Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. Um, again, I use this same concoction to mix up my black and my white to make gray because Michael's is sold out of gray. So I make my own gray. And I have a little sneaky suspicion that my pink is too thick. Um, unfortunately, but we're gonna try this anyway and cross my fingers and hope that it works out. Colors I am using today, since it went so well in the last video, Thalo Blue by uh, Grumbacher. And for contrasting, I'm gonna use Antique Copper by Folk Art. I, you know, couldn't decide between the 24 karat gold and the copper, but I use the gold a lot, so I figured I'd try the copper. Then we have Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. And then to finish it off, I've decided the Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. All right, so like I said, 20 by 20 canvas. I was gonna do 10 inches and 10 inches, like really cut it right in half, but it didn't leave much space here for the pink. So I actually pushed it back to, um, I actually used a measuring tape um, and I pushed it back to 11 inches this way and 11 inches down. So it's not really half and half because there's still so much gray here. And if I had done it less, I would lose a lot of the pink. Okay, let's see what happens with this. So you can probably see my gray sides are pretty junky. That's because I don't have, um, this is gray, but it's not this gray. You can see there's a difference. This is my Liquitex Basics gray. So I don't have a gray in a squeeze bottle. Um, in this color because I made it up. So when I'm done, I'm going to use the leftover gray in here to touch up my sides. I just didn't want to do it now because there's no point until I'm done blowing everything out. So there is the anti copper metallic cobalt blue. Now I'm loading the paint on real thick because I, like I said, I have a feeling this is too thick and this could be on the thick side. So the more paint I add, I'm hoping that it'll flow better. And in fact, actually, now that I said that, what I'm going to do just to be on the safe side, I am going to add a little bead of gray. I'm not going to flood my colors because you guys know how much I hate that. Um, but I am going to add just a bit of gray because I just don't know. And I'm going to do the same here. I just don't want to blow it and then it just doesn't move, right? See, like this is thick. I See how I'm pouring it? It's leaving a bead that is thick. So you better cross your fingers for me because I don't know um, how this is going to blow out. All right pop the bubbles and uh, let's get going here. Um, and don't forget, make sure that your canvas is seriously level um, before you start anything, because if it's not, give it about half an hour to an hour and when you come back to it, everything's gonna be all over the place. So just make sure your canvas is level before you get started. All right, so first I'm gonna take this doggy hair out. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna blow this way first. I think I did that last time actually. Uh, should I go this way first? Yeah, okay, let's go this way first then. I did it the other way last time, so let's go this way.
Okay, so let me explain something to you guys before I even get into this. A lot of people are messaging me again on Facebook, especially um, in the Facebook acrylic pouring groups. Uh, what kind of blow dryer are you using? I need to know the watts of your blow dryer. I need to know the exact hair dryer you're using because mine sucks. No, it doesn't. I'm telling you guys, you can use any hair dryer you want. You just need to know A, how to use it, or one, how to use it. Two, your paint consistency has to be thin enough. And three, I don't know, you just need to know how to use it. So if you have it on high and your paint splatters everywhere, then put it on low. If you put it on low and your paint doesn't move, it could be one of two things. You're um, holding the hair dryer too far away from the canvas or two, um, it's just not powerful enough on low. Mine is on high, okay? It is a cheap Conair hair dryer. It's actually a travel hair dryer. You see that? Doo -doo -doo. I have it listed in my Amazon shop, okay? The attachment did not come with it. Um, that's from my hair dryer that I use for my actual hair. Um, you can buy the attachments off Amazon. Again, I have those listed in my Amazon shop, okay? And that thing only blows hot air. If people you're hearing, oh, it's gotta be cold air. No, it doesn't. I've been doing this for almost two years now and I've never used cold ever, 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 okay? So if it's on low and you're using my paint consistency and it's not moving, put it on high because on low, that thing ain't working for me either. So you gotta put it on high. And then what you need to learn is to learn how to hold it and how to, you know, use it. So you don't want to start so close to the to the canvas because you're literally going to blow everything everywhere. Now, if you want to see something seriously funny, um, Tammy Anderson did that. I, I love her. She's like my bestie for in the art world. So she did um, a pour once with a hairdryer. I think it was a new one. I can't even remember. But she literally splattered paint everywhere in her video. And I just about died laughing. So um, I'm going to try and find that video. I'm going to ask Tammy to find that video for me. And I'll link it up here at the top for you guys to see. Because if you guys want to have a hoot, um, check that video out. But if you haven't heard of my friend Tammy, check her out anyway. Subscribe to her channel. I tell you guys, you will love her as much as I do. So anywho, um, you got to start up high. Okay, start your hair dryer. Here, let me actually hold my hair dryer. Start your hair dryer up high. If it's not moving the paint, then move a little closer, okay? Also, the further away you are, the more control you have. If you go too close, then you're bound to just muddy up your paint and they're just gonna overlap with each other and just cause a mess. So start high and then move your way closer, okay? So it all depends on the hair dryer you have. You don't have to have the kind of hair dryer I use. Because a lot of people are asking me, oh, I need your hair dryer. I need to know the what. No, just learn how to use your hair dryer, okay? So I hope that really helps you guys um, about the hair dryers and how to use it and if it's on high or low or hot or cold. So that's how it works for me. Start up high and work your way closer. Not close enough or you'll touch the canvas because I know a lot of you do that. I did that back in the day too where you hit the nozzle on the canvas and you ruin it. So be careful with that too. Now, on to this masterpiece. <laughs> you know, I'm really happy that I used the antique copper in here. And I'm going to get my little torch and I'm going to just torch this pedal here because I can see, see, it kind of left a nice effect right there. There's nothing to torch here um, and I'm not torching anything else. So I am going, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I really love this color. Actually, I, more so than the Titan Mars, but they're two totally different colors. Actually, I'll show you. I'll show you the difference. You see that? Can you see that? So pinky and Titan Mars pale. So like a peachy, a peachy creamy kind of color, right? So there's the difference in the two. But um, I really love this color a lot. Okay, I am going to shush, <laughs> stop talking. 
I am going to bring you guys down for a close up with the lights on and the lights off. But first, I am going to fix all my sides so that when I bring you down for a close up, you can see how perfectly clean and neat my sides are. So I'll be right back. All right, guys, here it is. And you can see I fixed all my sides. They are perfect. Except for that one white spot right there. Gotta fix that. There. And then you guys all know, right? Don't forget the uh, stick with drips. Get those drips off your canvas. There you go. Okay. Very, very, very important to clean the drips. Okay. You must do this and you all know why. I've said it a, a million times. Don't forget to clean the drips. Okay. Let's check out how pretty this is. So look at the cells in here. This is insane. Super, super pretty. I'm super happy with this piece. Um, I would love to know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, please let me know what you guys think. Um, this is again a 20 by 20 inch canvas. If you are interested in purchasing this piece, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com. So pretty. Let's check the sides over here. So I'm going to get um, those drips. Those have to go. All right, let's turn the studio lights off and put on the regular lights and check out the shimmer in the paint. Be right back. All right, guys, lights are off. And let's check this out. I'm I'm so happy with this piece. And you know what? I actually really liking this uh, gray and pink color combo here. I'm, uh, look at that shimmer. So when this is done, it's gonna get a coat of crystal resin. For those of you who want to try resin, you can um, pick up some crystal resin, crystal with a K, and you can save 10, uh, sorry, 5% off your order on the crystal resin, resin website. You can find that info in the description below. Use code CANELA5. The resin is currently on sale on the website, so you can not only get it on sale, but then you can save an extra 5% off. Oh, look at that so pretty so oh that's like look at this um what's that look like like a like a snaky kind of eel i can't even i know i it's in my head i just can't say what it is i can't think about the the word right now but it looks like a little creature of some sort all right so guys, as I mentioned, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this piece. If you are interested in purchasing this piece, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Um, Loli Vefi discount for everything on the Loli Vefi website, mats, bottles, all kinds of stuff. Um, use code CANELA10. Um, crystal resin, um, you can use code CANELA5. Check out video number 227. I will link it up at the top, uh, or you can just check out video number 227, and that is a full tutorial on resin. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Check out my son, Lucas Siraco, his channel, and uh, Juno and Echo's YouTube channel. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. It's gonna be a birthday weekend for us. We're gonna spoil little Sophia. And, uh, but little girl is turning eight. Oh my goodness. Eight going on 18. Let me tell you. Um, those of you with girls know what I'm talking about. So until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye. Na pije no skosolo, na ma veno, ramata, tu se ute ramata.
No. Where is she? It's not in my room. She's in your room. Well then. Look, let's come back. Why? She can't be any. <laughs> Are you <laughs> <laughs>